Hello and welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and today I have, surprise, surprise, another fountain pen that I want to share with you. Uh, you know, uh, if you've watched this channel much, that I am really uh, impressed with the Hongdian Black Forest series of pens and really like uh, that black version. Although uh, mine and, and a lot of the others that I see in reviews actually has a little bit of a blue, or uh, excuse me, a brown black tint. Well, now they have this blue uh, Light of Hope version. It's a a little bit different, just in a couple of very small ways, but one of those ways is this really cool blue nib. And I was curious about whether or not it was as good as my uh, Black Forest version that is in the in the brown black. So uh, I was about to order one when I got a message from uh, a seller on Etsy and Amazon, and I think maybe eBay as well. Esy by E S Y by. So they have provided me with this pen, and you know what that means. Since they've provided me with this pen, I am going to have a giveaway. All the instructions will be at the end of this video, and uh, you can figure out how you might be able to win the Hongdian Light of Hope Blue Black Forest pen. In the meantime, Let's flip that camera and we'll see what it looks like, how it's how it performs, how it writes, what I like, what I don't like, and all of that good stuff. So let's let's flip that camera and get going. Okay, so let's take a close-up look at the Hongdian uh, Light of Hope. That's the blue version of the Black Forest pen. It comes in this tin box, and uh, I've seen a lot more pens coming in this box lately from different companies, and. As you can see, it's very much like the other pins in the Black Forest series. There are maybe a couple of differences. Uh, one obviously is the color, and this is a really attractive blue. If you like, and blue is my favorite color, I think that's rather obvious, uh, but I really like the finish. It seems to be same type finish as the uh, other Black Forest pin that you see back there, just in different colors. So it's a matte color. It has this great knurling here on the grip, and that's just every bit as well done as it is in the other pin. The uh, the clip is a good strong. That is a strong, strong clip. Uh, it is made to the same kind of tolerances, which that's what impressed me with the other Hongdian pin too, is that it's just well made. Hongdian is a company in China that's been around for um, over a decade, and they've been making pens for other companies. And so I don't know exactly who they've made pens for, but they're an OEM manufacturer for other fountain pen companies. And that's why they had the level of expertise that they seem to have. Because if you're like me, it seems like uh, just a while back, they just kind of showed up out of nowhere and then just started churning out model after model. And so far, every one that I've got, and I've, I've got uh, I've got another one that'll be coming up here pretty soon that is quite different from these pins, and it is just as well made. Totally different style, but uh, stay tuned for that. They they have a, a good variety of designs and pins, and so far, everything that I've, I've got, I, I like. Uh, it is a little bit different from the other Hongdian Black Forest in that this time it just has a flat... Uh, logo and the name and everything here on the top of the cap. And so instead of an inserted finial like this one has, it has uh, just a stamped one. And uh, I don't know if that was just, you know, a little bit of cost cutting or it just they wanted a design change. I actually prefer this. And I think if if you had this, but with that blue background and this in silver, I think that would have been a pretty cool design. Uh, so, you know, that's a little bit different. Otherwise, I think the rest of the exterior of the pen is very much the same. You had these two lines uh, just to break up this solid section here. The fit and finish of the cap as it snaps on as, as good as ever. Very tight. No, uh, there's friction there. It doesn't turn loosely at all. And it just is extremely well made in that regard. And this will post, although it makes for a very long pen, especially with that uh, thinner grip section and nib. So I would write with it unposted, and I do write with them unposted, uh, but that t fits very, very tight. Their tolerances are seem to be really tight in every regard on their pens. 
So if you're familiar with the other, then you know what you're getting in the overall design. There will be that change in the finial at the top. And uh, let's see here. And the band that goes around the center of the pen, it says Hong Dian, the light of hope. Instead of saying Black Forest series, it says the light of hope. So very attractive exterior of the pen, very well made. And uh, in that regard, I really do like it. If you liked this Black Forest one or the Birch series, which is the silver and, and white Birch colored one, uh, if you like those, then you'll like this pen. If you disliked those, then you will dislike this one, obviously. That goes both ways. So let's look a little bit further. The nib. To me, the nib is what really caught my attention on this pen. Of course, I really like the blue, but it's a... Just like the other, it is a nicely decorated nib. Seems to me to be the same nib with just the different finish. But that blue finish, look at that. It is just really cool. If I were buying the pen just on looks, this would sell me. It really, really cool. And so, uh, one thing I do like, uh, sometimes people don't like metal uh, grip sections because they can be slippery. I have a, uh, a Lamy Studio, which I'll review here in a few weeks, and of course the only uh, major criticism most people have of that pen, it's a beautiful pen, is the slippery metal section, although they have a version that's matte like this that would help. It's just, <laughs> unfortunately, it's not the one that I've got, but I do really like that pen. Uh, but this is a little bit better in that this matte finish provides a good solid grip and it's not slippery like a lot of metal sections. So if you're wondering if that will be slippery and that's a put off for you, it's really not a slippery grip section at all. So that's good and I do like that. It has a little bit of a step down here and uh, because the grip section is long enough, this doesn't actually bother me. If it were shorter, I think it would. I think it's enough that it would bug me, uh, but it doesn't. What will bother some people, or be a bonus for some people, it really depends on, this is going to be personal, is the diameter of that grip section. The diameter is small, so this is a bit of a thin pen. If that bothers you, especially if you write for a long time, you do need to keep that in mind because it is not uh, a thick section at all, and you will either like that or dislike that. Again, that's it's a negative, but it's only a negative if that's a negative to you. That's a, a personal preference issue. Uh, not a very heavy pen, not the lightest pen, but not not overly heavy. Uh, I'll put the dimensions up here and everything so that you have that. But yeah, I, as far as the nib goes, I uh, I like the design. Typical flat plastic, <laughs> plastic, plastic feed. And it does come with a converter. And in fact, this would be one of those things that uh, I think you need to consider on this pen. If uh, you're someone who t typically uses cartridges instead of converters, uh, it does. I'm not real sure. Uh, I've tried every cartridge I've got, and none of them are quite right. So I'm not exactly sure uh, if you know for certain what cartridge this uses, and what converter size it is, please put that in the comments below. Um, I, I thought I had it figured out when I reviewed the first one, and then uh, that turned out not to be correct. So I'm just going to say I'm not certain. Uh, I, I've heard people say uh, that it fits a particular brand's converters, but I don't have those available, so I can't say that for sure. Uh, so I would consider this pen uh, for myself, you can do your own thing. Uh, but I consider this pen for myself a converter pen. I don't con consider it a converter and cartridge pen. You can get them. They are available sometimes on Amazon or eBay or whatever. You'll find uh, uh, Hongdian cartridges. Uh, they're they're not as inexpensive as some other cartridges. And I don't remember if that was because of the size of the box, how many it was in it, or if that was the per cartridge price. But uh, I know that it was enough that I didn't bother. Uh, I would just get your own ink bottle and use it as a as a converter pen. In. And that's that's what I do with mine. I keep my brown one uh, filled up with uh, Monteverde brown sugar. It's an awesome match to that pen. Uh, and then uh, this has actually a Birmingham pens ink in it right now, which I'll mention when we get to the writing test. But that is the basic overall design. Not a lot of change. Mainly it is color. Uh, it is available in different nibs. This is a fine. I know there's an extra fine. And there is a mini Fude nib. I have not tried 
in the Forest series, the Mini Fude. But uh, stay tuned for that other Hong Dian that I have coming up because it does have the Mini Fude, and, and so you'll be able to know. I believe it's the same uh, basic nib, just not colored, that's in that other pen. So I will have a review of that here uh, in just the next few weeks. But as far as looks go, I like it. But let's see how it actually works. This is the Hong Dian. It's the Black Forest, and this is the, uh, I'm going to call it the Light of Hope version. And this is a Birmingham Pen & Company. This is their Electron Pollute. And I really, let me just say, I like this ink. I really uh, need to review this later on. I ordered one of their pens a while back, and they uh, sent this as an extra bottle in the box. Uh, there had been a delay on the pen, and I think that was just uh, uh, because of the delay. But what a beautiful ink. It has great shading. I'm getting distracted here from the pen itself, but it has wonderful shading in this particular ink. So if, if you're looking for a neat uh, blue ink, the Birmingham Company Electron Blue. I like it. Really cool. Okay, let me be quiet so that you can hear. I do apologize again this week for the air conditioner. Uh, I thought I'd turned it up enough it wouldn't come on, but it came on anyway. So, nice wetness there, and especially with this ink, uh, that gives you uh, some, some neat shading and variation in the color. So that's cool. You will notice that it is not a very loud pen. Now, my microphone's kind of sensitive, so it may sound like there is a lot, but there is not a lot of uh, sound coming from that nib. It's, it's a nice, smooth nib. And I, that was something I wondered about because my, uh, my other Black Forest pen had such a smooth, fine nib. And I know that a lot of you have said you've had the same experience with that fine nib, just really smooth. I wondered, since it's a different finish, you know, it, it, it's not just a different color, it seems like a, a different technique in coloring it, if that smoothness would remain and it has. It seems like maybe the first day I used it, it wasn't quite as smooth, but, but after that, it after the break-in period basically, uh, just as smooth as that other uh, Black Forest pen. This is, by the way, I didn't say that, but this is a fine nib. And it writes a nice clean line. Yes, that was me forgetting what comes after E, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> okay, so uh, just, it's a great pen. Uh, in terms of you know living up to my expectations of this pen, this pen I, I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know if it'd be good, bad, indifferent, and was just very impressed. Uh, it has held up very well. I use it a lot. Keep it here at the office, and I I've had to refill it more times than a lot of other pens. So uh, I, that tells me how much I'm writing with it. It's it's just a great pen and I really like it and there's a reason that it instantly developed a fan base of that pen and of the company. The only th criticism I hear uh, most of the time is one, you know, finding that replacement converter should you need a replacement uh, and two, this thin grip section. Now it doesn't bother me. Thin pens often bother me. This one does not, and it's not the only thin pen. There have been a couple lately that surprised me uh, because it has more to do with not just that it's thin, but it's long enough. If, if it's thin and short for me, that, that becomes usually a deal breaker because I then have to deal with a step up. And like I mentioned earlier, if I were having to deal with that step up because of a short section, it would bug me, and I probably would not like the pen. So, uh, the 
the length of it helps me with that. And it's, it's just a comfortable pen for me to write with, which surprises me because I don't like uh, that thin section. Anyway, i uh, show you that it does keep up, flows just fine. I was very tempted to write about that quick brown fox for a second, and uh, then I remembered I've never done that. Why start now? So, <laughs> you know. Anyway, do I recommend it? Yes. Yes, I do. And uh, I think whoever wins this one is going to enjoy it, because don't forget, going to give that pin away. I, but yeah, if, if I'm buying it with my own money, I, I did buy this one with my own money, and uh, I actually have bought myself one of these uh, so that I can, so that I definitely can still write with it after I've given this one away. So actually what I'll do is I'll send you the clean one. That's what I'll do. Uh, but would I would I spend my own money on this pen? Yes, I would. I really like it. It's a sturdy pen. It writes very well. Uh, it's a smooth nib. The thin section does not bother me, but I didn't again. I do want to make sure that you know what you're getting into, and if that's a deal breaker for you, then there is that. Uh, the metal grip section not a deal breaker for me. That matte finish does give enough grip that it's not slippery. I've had no problems with that, and I've had this one for a long time. It's never bothered me in that way. Uh, somebody asked a couple of weeks, not a couple of weeks ago, last week, uh, about, you know, dryness and pens drying out. I have not had uh, any trouble with either of these drying out in, say, a week or two weeks. Beyond that, they're going to be like, you know, a lot of fountain pens. Uh, if you leave that in a drawer for a few weeks and you're probably just going to need to do a quick dip in water. Not anything big, not dried out, crusty, and clogged. Just, you know, dip it in a little bit of distilled water for half a second and you are good to go. Uh, but that is a that, that that's a concern, and I'm glad that they brought that up because I don't think I mentioned that on a lot of these pens. But I would say average, run of the mill on drying out. Not anything stands out as it being too quick, uh, but it's it's not like a platinum that has the slip and seal and just you know you can leave it in there for months and months and months, which I have and had zero problems. Same with some pilots; they don't they don't dry out. So there is that. I would say average, uh, average. Give it a couple of weeks, and you might need to do a quick dip in the water, uh, but that is it. If you're leaving it alone for a couple of days, you should not have any trouble. I have not, at least. In my experience, I have not. If you have one of these pens and you want to share, especially if you have one of those other nibs in this pen, why don't you share what your impressions are in the comments and contest rules. I'm going to put up a screen here with all the rules. Uh, the comment that enters you does have to be uh, on this particular post. And then uh, next Monday, I will do a drawing. So next Monday, I uh, come back and I will have a drawing for this pen. And good luck as always. And it'll be in the rules as always. Um, I can only send, there are countries I can't send to, especially because of COVID. So just be aware that there will be uh, an issue on some places that I just can't send things to right now. Uh, so there is that. And uh, I will have in the description below where you can get this pen. And uh, I hope you enjoy it if you get it. God bless you. Have a great week. Stay safe. And I hope that you have a great Labor Day weekend if you're here in the U.S.